My name is Morgan Mulholland. I go to Lakewood Ranch High School, and my artwork is of Kona. Kona is a family friend's dog who recently passed away. Art's always been a part of my life. Even in elementary school, I really enjoyed drawing. But um, just recently, I started picking it up and being more competitive. Uh, so Kona was a black lab. And the picture that I had of him was really beautiful because it showed all of the colors in the background reflecting off of his fur. And so what I did with the picture was I upped the saturation on it. And what that did was like make the colors really clear. Uh, Miss Thompson and Miss Flanagan have been a really big part in art. Also, the digital art teacher, Mr. Klein at Lakewood Ranch, has been a huge help. They've really opened a lot of doors for me. I guess it all started with Play-Doh. I don't know. I just I liked playing with art. I liked being tactical with my hands. Yeah, I do a lot of digital art. This year I'm the designer for the yearbook. Yeah, so I, I have a lot of fun with just art in general. Last year I took ceramics and that was a lot of fun. Um, this was actually my first piece with watercolor. So I'm, I'm, I'm opening up the doors. Oh, they're all so pretty. This was the first time I saw all of them. And they were very impressive, yeah. Okay, so I go to Braden River High School. I'm currently a sophomore. And then um, this piece is about, do you want me to explain the piece itself? Okay, so this piece, I was originally entered into this photographic competition and the theme is innovation. And so when I was going around through Sarasota and Manatee County, I wanted to find something that captured Manatee, Manatee County and Sarasota's love for innovation, but also their love for cars. So when I went to their uh, auto museum, the second oldest in America, I came upon this typewriter and it really like captured my imagination because I saw how it said, gone for a ride, be back soon. So that combined both um, uh, Sarasota and Manatee County's love for cars, but also with a typewriter, it shows uh, Manatee County and Sarasota County's uh, push towards innovation with a typewriter. Okay, so um, I just started photography last April because I was put into those competitions kind of last minute and uh, Mr. Frank, my teacher, he sort of helped me learn how to take photos um, because I originally had a camera that I didn't know how to use and so he taught me how everything. Um, so this is sort of one of the first photos I took as a photographer. So um, it was also an all, a great way for me to learn uh, different editing tools, but some things that I had to edit were there was this wax figure that I used that was in the background and using Photoshop, I was able to take that out to bring sort of this authentic feel to the typewriter. It's a way to express uh, someone's um, past events or ma mainly their story because I think photography is about to tell a story. It's not a snapshot. Um, that's basically my take on art. Yeah, especially this heart and soul that is extremely, extremely important to get used to the professional world because many people do have galas and art is a way of an expression, but it's also a way of communicating, communicating towards others. And art isn't just a painting. It's a way to, um, in the real world with companies, for instance, if you go to Apple, they have painters, they have designers that also do art, but they make change to other uh, the way people feel or way, the way they want to buy a product. So I was able to walk around, and a lot of them um, I saw were from my school. Uh, I, they're, they're all really creative. They, they all show a sense of feeling and story when you look at it. Uh, also notably, um, Hannah Figueres' piece with the, um, the, the Dark Knight, it's extremely beautiful the way it's uh, cropped. Everything is just magnificent, and every single picture is beautiful, the painting is just amazing and it's amazing how we can see Manatee County progress not only in STEM education but also with STEAM which is also adding the art component. It's a picture of my photograph I had gotten um, as a gift as my 18th birthday. Um, it's a 1915 Victrola. Um, I felt that I should take a picture of it because um, 
I, I'm 18, and not every 18-year-old wants a 1915 Victrola to listen to music on. Um, well, I've always had an eye for old antique pieces, um, you know, not just cars, you know, just more um, for music as well, because I like the old music. But um, when I look at it, and what made me want to take a picture of it was, I, I think about all the people that had this piece before me, and who got to listen to it before me, and who danced to it before me, and who all got to enjoy it. So I wanted to catch a picture of it so everyone else could join it with me. Um, I used a Nik Nikon, excuse me, camera. I couldn't really tell you the model, but I used I did use a digital um, camera. I used um, Photoshop and I put a few little different kind of edits on it, mess with the exposure, stuff like that. Um, I want people to take away how modern society is becoming and how we really want to remember the simple life and how things really could be simple again. Um, I really like a lot of the pieces that everyone else did. Um, I think everyone had a little bit different of an idea on each piece on, uh, and they really expressed their own feelings. I think there's a lot of emotion into each piece um, and I think each piece expresses everyone. Okay, my name is Naomi Raffi and I go to Southeast High School and I am a senior so I'm in 12th grade. And this is my painting and it's called Burning Thoughts. And interestingly enough, this piece generally, it really describes me as a person because I'm um, in the International Baccalaureate program in Southeast High School. So I have like a really profound love for the sciences but I really love art so I decided to combine my love for art and science in this painting and it's basically symbolic of my favorite um, periodic table element of uh, barium and this is barium chloride on fire and um, the colors represent what barium chloride looks like when it's on fire it's like a teal and like purple and um, barium chloride itself which is like a pale grayish color when people look at this I would like them to personally emote their emotions through my artwork. Art has been a very pivotal part in my life and it's definitely in my core. Um, so is science. So I first started art interestingly enough when I was probably two years old. My sister is severely autistic so one of the main therapies that she did was through art and um, I was one of the time when she would do that so um, I would follow along and I would do art therapy with her so um, that's one way that I learn art. As I move on to um, to the university level, I would hope to double major in both visual arts and neuroscience. So um, one of the things I would like to do is become a medical illustrator because I really like um, human anatomy, as you can see by this figure painting and such. This took me, oh my goodness, it took me quite some time. Um, I believe might have been two weeks um, and we have like so the class is about 90 minutes each um, and this is actually my first piece that I actually started trying to explore the art genre called like expressionistic expressionist I can't pronounce it um, but I tend to be really meticulous and like I try to make the colors like exactly like in reality but then here I decide okay I just want to use fun colors when I make this figure so yeah I would tell the younger generation that literally anybody can do art. You know, I one thing that definitely sticks with me is that, you know, you can never compare one artist to another because sincerely art at its most basic form is an expression of what you personally think and just, you know, putting that out there for the world to see. So, um, for me personally, I know art has helped me focus in so many different facets of my life. So I definitely encourage younger children to explore art so that they can be more in touch with the world, you know, like um, expressions and stuff like that. So yeah. My impressions, wow, everyone is so incredibly talented and I'm so sincere sincerely proud of Manatee County and the arts in you know the high schools and I'm definitely proud of this gala because it definitely um, promotes art and I can't wait to see um, what further art pieces will come in the future.
So this is a wonderful opportunity to uh, preview the uh, show that I hope to be seeing on Saturday evening at the gala. Um, and I have to tell you, I am very impressed. Um, I also have to say that I'm above my pay grade in the sense that um, when I went around and looked at the artwork, and actually when I've talked to some of the artists, um, they, uh, they are truly artists and professionals. And had I not known that this was student art, uh, it, it could just as easily have been someone who was making their living for the last 60 or 70 years as an artist. So these artists are part of our community and they are also part of our school district. And it speaks volumes about the caliber and the quality, not only of our community, but of our school district, in terms of the types of students that, that they are educating and helping them to achieve their aspirations in all fields. Uh, uh, the, the arts in particular, um, uh, and a commitment to the arts, demonstrates that this community truly understands uh, the concept of community because one can't have community uh, without an appreciation for the arts. The, uh, the foundation has been extremely supportive um, of promoting the arts curriculum um, uh, in our school system. And uh, to their credit, they, they represent our community and our community's commitment. And, and they have uh, helped raise the money and helped support it the instructors and the classrooms and the mediums that uh, our students are engaging in and tonight is an opportunity to view uh, the results, some of the results of uh, those contributions and commitments that have been made by the foundation. My name is Juanita Centeno. I am a senior at Palmetto High School. Um, my painting is called Inner Space, and I used an linoleum block. I carved out um, a little peacock, and I uh, inked pressed it on my canvas. It did take a while to dry because it, it took weeks. It did take weeks. And um, we layered, 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 and my art teacher, he's the best. He um, told me all of these tips, revisions that I should do, and um, I'm glad that I did them because there were a lot. There were a lot of revisions, but um, I am very honored to be here. And out of 160, I still can't believe it, uh, out of 160 paintings, mine's got chosen out of the 20. And it just, I, I'm just, I can't believe it. Oh, uh, I was in elementary school. Uh, there was this art teacher. Um, in elementary school. His name is Mr. Esau. He recently just passed away, but I am glad to have met him because he has taught me so much. He has, and he gave me, he, I just feel it, I do. And then when I got into middle school, um, I, they didn't offer me art, but I really wanted it so bad. But I ended up getting it on my last year, on my eighth grade year. So then high school, I think high school was pretty, pretty tough because I learned that art isn't just like you just draw it's like it's a passion you have to have that passion and my art teacher Mr. Schroeder he just he never gave up on me no, no how many times I I did wanted to give up Mr. Schroeder believed in me and that's that's means a lot that really does mean a lot to me I mean it's it's something that I've never done before and for the past, I've done stencils like out of paper, but this is new because this is like a big eraser and you just carve out, you just carve it out and then I just think about it's, it's like a stencil, so that's what I did. I think just try it, no matter what. We all have creativity in ourselves, no matter what, even writing, um, math, anything. And it's, people say, I'm not creative. Oh, you are, like makeup, it, it's just something that, it just it's just something it's amazing and um, I really suggest I will
take. I, I want you <laughs> to take an art class because it could change you and it changed me. And it just, it's honor. Yes, I did, and my favorite. Ah, they're amazing. They are so good. And um, I really like the oil painting that I saw over there. I think it was called um, Thoughts, something Thoughts. But I really did like that painting. And um, I did like all the, everyone's. It's just amazing. It's amazing. Oh, well, I'm very overwhelmed, but um, it's it's awesome. And I, I think it's awesome for the students and, and um, to, get to experience this awesome thing that very few will get to experience. I mean, it's, it's an honor, it is. <laughs> What's next? Um, well, just recently I have decided that I wanted to do art therapy because before I thought accounting might be it because it just pays well, that's what I thought. But I mean, but I really felt it in my heart that art therapy is something that I really want to do. Who cares how much it pays? Who cares that? Just, I mean, I, I just want to be there to, I don't know. It's just so many, so many things that go in through my mind. Yes, yes. I, I really do want to help the little ones. I really do want to help the kids. And, and um, just to, because I can relate to them because they go through a lot and I want them to feel important and I want them to feel that they can do anything. They can be wh whoever they want to be. An artist, um, whoever they want to be. So it's very overwhelming. Well, we are excited about the turnout tonight because really it's the best we've ever seen. We love this location. The Manti Performing Arts Center is a fabulous place. We had over 100 people here tonight enjoying family, friends, patrons of the arts, and our sponsors were here tonight to celebrate the 20 student artists that were selected out of 126 pieces. It was extremely difficult to make that selection. I know in past years, I remember initially when we did it, it was hard to pick even 20 pieces. This year, it was difficult to pick under 50 pieces because there's so much wonderful artwork by our students. And I think we attribute a lot of that to, this is the ninth year that we've done Heart and Soul, which, you know, nine years of funding our schools and it being part of the high school education curriculum, this is what you get. You get this type of artwork behind me. You get the kind of work that these students have turned out. And what's really wonderful, it represents seven of our high schools. So, and this is judges that are picking it, not knowing what school, not knowing names, not knowing teachers, that seven schools were picked and we had a great assortment of our art teachers within the district. So very proud of all of our schools and teachers. And most of all, proud of our students that have learned philanthropy at such a young age, and that is donating their artwork back for a good cause, which is going right back into the classrooms. So Saturday night, we have the big gala, here in the lobby with over 250 people. And then we'll have upstairs a live auction with Dr. Larry Thompson from Ringling Art School. So Ringling College of Art School, I know he does it very specific that it's not Ringling Art School anymore. But anyway, what we're just so pleased with the, the sponsors, the turnout, the artwork this year, the creator, Activity is phenomenal. But most of all, the Manatee Education Foundation, having done this for nine years, it shows the, the longevity and the fortitude that we've had in supporting this program and helping our teachers, helping our schools, continuing our mission, which is to work, our sole mission is to support the school district of Manatee County with innovative and creative projects like this. Yes, and we're so excited about being able to support the schools because you see it. It's in the work right here tonight. It's the students are excited. It's their first glimpse into the world of art. They're not only learning what it's like to present your own artwork to a patron, but also then to be able to go to a gala where people are dressed and ready to auction and pay big money 
for student artwork. And someone said it earlier tonight, it's not about the age, it's the quality. The quality is amazing here. And we're excited that these are teenagers that are doing this work. And one of our students, there's some great stories behind some of these pieces, like Anna Figueres, who three years in a row has won, uh, has been part of Heart and Soul, but two years best of show. And these are selected by judges, again, not knowing the names, not knowing the school. So that shows the caliber of the work. Plus, she's very involved with STEM, so we're getting that mixture of the TSA teams with the arts. Also, Yoshi Toralvo is also participating this year, also was going to uh, the TSA uh, out in international competition. So we're seeing this nice combination of STEAM, they call it, where you're mixing technology and the arts that will help both these students with their left and right brain learning. So we couldn't be prouder. We really couldn't because it just goes to show you a program that started in, in its infancy uh, nine years ago, what it can turn into and the impact that it has on our students. I think, Charles, after being almost a decade with the foundation, you know, there's so many wonderful things that we have done. But I think that it's seeing the faces of the children when you, when you get involved in a program and also the teachers. The teachers were so excited tonight. So in giving this last year all, over $400,000 back to the district, there really is no other organization that gives money like that back to the school district. So we really are a unique funding, not only nonprofit, but our our commitment, our loyalty, the people that are on our board. I think that's it, Charles. It's that we have a unique mission and we're so proud that it's working. You know, we're, we're glad that we're there and can support Dr. Green and the school board and all the teachers and students of Manti County School District. So with that, I couldn't be happier. Hello, I'm Hannah Figueres, and I went to go to Braden River High School, and I'm here for the Heart and Soul Gala. Um, the Dark Knight is a picture I took while abroad for a F1 in Schools competition. It's of a disassembled Formula One car in Abu Dhabi. Well, I was in the pits partially because of this competition, and I saw this car, and I really liked the way the light just the way it struck it, there was something very nice in there, and the lines and the the, sh the shininess and the shadows. Um, to me, art is communication. It's a little different depending on what art medium you're using, but with photography, it's more about showing other people the things that you might notice that other people just might not, and showing, well, this is how I see the world, or just this tiny little aspect of it. Well, um, because this is my third year, I'm going to be talking at the gala just uh, kind of about the impact Heart and Soul has had on me personally and just in support of the gala because it's really just a great thing that they do each year.